So I'm here at Virus's Grip and Grip event to speak to none other than BKG as he takes a little long weekend in London. They're throwing down right at the moment, but hopefully get a little sit down after they're done. Really excited to hear his thoughts on the upcoming games. Doing the Dubai was kind of like a status check, like where, where am I at? You know, finishing second behind Fraser is, that's not a bad thing. Uh, so I was really happy with my performance there. Even though I won in 2017, you know, it wasn't the same thing. Now he wasn't there. Um, then after that we did the Open, like second overall, uh, won the regular championships. So, and that was like, that was also like a good, good status check because I did one in Dubai and then now in, uh, in May. So it kind of makes sense for me. You talked about using sanctionals as status checks. Mm -hmm. Do you regret maybe not doing the road invitational because yeah. of all the, the key athletes that are going to yeah. be there are going to be yeah. your, your principal competition uh, games? The initial plan was to go to Rogue, yeah. but then they had the one in, in Iceland and I feel like that was a good call That's to go to Iceland. Yeah. Like I, I, I need to keep the throne, you know, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still the king of Iceland. Yeah. We need to keep it that way. No, but um, we also, it turned out to be like great field of athletes yeah. on the men's side, at least for me. Uh, it was a good push. I felt like the programming was awesome and I feel like it prepared me well for the games. So yes, missing out on Rogue was, I wasn't going to do that, but it wouldn't make sense to do a competition two weeks after where I should be, you know, getting back into training. Yeah, so it would, yeah, it would have been too much time out of like normal routine. Talk to me about yeah. Matt Fraser. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, it's not just Matt Fraser anymore, is it? It's also Patrick Vellner and Brent yeah. McHale. Yeah. Uh, you guys are all there and thereabouts, so you could easily kind of right. take, take a podium spot, couldn't you? But like, he just seems to yep. have one step ahead of everybody. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, and he also proved it at the Roke this yeah. time. Like, he'd made mistakes, he got no reps, he fell down, like he was 30 points behind Volner. He came back and he kind of destroyed the competition. Uh, where Fikovsky and Wallner are a little bit closer to me, like my level, I just feel like Fraser is level ahead. But I'm excited to see what those, like that field of athletes that will come to the games now will do. Because let's say if like we need more people in between me, Wallner and Fraser, do you know what I mean? So we need to steal more points. And at this point, that's the case. Yeah. But we of course want to just get better than him. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's the initial plan and you know, that's what, we are working for. We, I don't want to be counting on other athletes, athletes just for me to win Fraser, you know what I mean? But he's just that good, like we have to be honest about it. I would be lying if I said like, yeah, I can beat him on every, any given day. Of course I can't. Like he will have to have a really bad day and I will have to have probably the best day of my life in order to beat him. Like just facing the facts, I think. But he's awesome, like it's great to see and it's just, it's so impressive. Do you find as, as a group of athletes you target him as a one to beat? Is he like the person to be? Yeah. yeah, yeah, he is, definitely. Wow, 100%. But in order for me to get to the podium again, I need to beat those guys like Wolner and Fikowski and Noah and, and those guys that are in the top five, top seven. Yeah. You know, because, like, it's not a big difference in, like, you know, conditioning and, like, we're all pretty fit, but it also comes down to the day, like, how you're feeling, how is, how's life, like, how are you feeling just in your soul, I think. You know, if you're feeling good, then like training is going well. I think that, you know, I can beat Walner and, and, and on the other hand, he can beat me. So, uh, yeah. So how are you feeling? Very good. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I don't think I've felt this good since 2015 where I podium the, yeah. Awesome. So that's the goal. Yeah, podium. Yeah, 100%.